Hey guys, Fubbly here today and welcome to Transport Tycoon on iOS. Yes, in case you didn't know, uh, this may look very familiar to Locomotion that I've been playing recently. Uh, and it is. Um, it's, I, I believe it actually, I, I don't know, I'm, I, I'm not 100% sure on the details, but I'm pretty sure it's Transport Tycoon with Locomotion style graphics. But I'm not sure. They, I think it's kind of mixed together, the two games. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, you, you can totally pick this up on iOS and play it on the go. It's alright. I'm would i playing it on an iPad. I would definitely recommend it on an iPad. I've done it on iPhone. The screen's too small. It's, it's just silly. That menu fades away way too quickly. Let's start a new game. I uh, don't need the tutorial. Let's jump ahead to easy, I think. Uh, so you'll see most of these maps are actually the same. See, we got... Oh, sorry. We got oil... Oh, so apparently if I scroll and then let go above a button, it clicks it. Kind of annoying. Um, yeah, so you can see it's got Oil Oasis, which we're actually doing on the uh, the PC version of Locomotion right now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Let's do Great Britain and Ireland, 1900. That sounds good. Build pra uh, passenger transport services in the early 1900s, Great Britain. Deliver 1,000 passengers within 10 years. That is, like, super easy. Like, super easy. We can do that pretty quick. Yeah, so I'd load the scenario. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd just show you, you, you guys this because I thought it'd be quite interesting for you to know about and see as well. I'm sure a lot of you would be pretty interested in this. I mean, you can, pretty much the only difference is the fact that it's obviously using touch controls and it's the menus are like different and I kind of updated them. But yes, anyways, that is our challenge. So let's put that away if I can put it away. Um, why is that my picture? Let's change my picture. This is one of the other reasons you need an iPad because it's really hard to see the like the menus and stuff when you're on an iPhone. Where's my favorite? Where's Freddy? There's Freddy. Yes. Uh, okay. How do I how do I close menus? There we go. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm still kind of in the process of learning. I picked up most of it whilst I was um, giving it a go the other day. Uh, I've actually had this since release, but I didn't really get into it until just recently. Now, how did I de demolish a house or something? I don't know. I don't know if I accidentally did that. Right, I want to find out where the largest town is, like we do on the PC. How do I do that? Not that. Uh, that's grass. It wouldn't be in there, would it? No. How about over here? No stations. Nope. Uh, yeah, see, I probably should have figured this out first. Maybe it's down the bottom here. Uh, that's construction. I thought that looked like a little town icon. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. How do I do this? Pause menu? Nope. Maybe I can't do it. All right, screw it. Let's just look around. Uh, so we just need to deliver lots of passengers, really. There's tons of industry here, actually. Let's have a look. Where do we want to go? Um, yeah, so that sort of lag in the scrolling as well, that isn't that isn't the recording. That's actually happening on my iPad right now. So, uh, yeah, I guess it's a good thing to see. Take note of, uh, We had some bigger towns down over this way, I believe. Uh, some, oh, I've lost myself now. Uh, that, yeah, these ones are pretty good. I think if we join uh, these three, Liverpool, Manchester, and Lancaster, join them together, probably be pretty good uh, to do. So we'll go ahead and build a road. So I can do this properly. Here we go. Yes. Uh, plus. Yes, it is a plus button. All right. Rotate around. Rotating with two fingers. Very weird, actually, in, in an isometric game. Uh, so if we just build straight across. Oh, we need to go up. Yep. Uh, and we need to go flat. I mean, it's def there's definitely a learning curve in this, but it's actually pretty, the, the controls are actually pretty decent once you get used to it. Hang on, where is that, that road? It's like a, hang on, I've lost myself now. The road is, oh, okay, no, it is down a level. Oh, wait, maybe it's not, hang on. Um, no, it's on this level, I think. But it's, that's really weird. So if we go there, and then we turn, plus, and then we turn again. Uh, incompatible with existing. Oh, okay. Maybe if it just goes forward. Yeah. There you go. Alright, so that connects those two. Oopsies. Uh, I'm trying to click over on that road. Um, how do I, how do I get onto that road? Uh, that's kind of annoying. I'll click off that, click back onto it, click on that road. There we go. Uh, do that, and rotate, and that. There you go. All right. Yeah, it takes, it takes a little bit of getting used to, for sure. But now we've got those three towns connected. Let's go ahead and build some stations, which I believe we don't do there. We do it in the roads menu again, just like we do on PC. Uh, this one here. Build terminus. No, I don't want to build terminus. I want to build a stop. There we go. Um, so we'll put a stop there. Yep. 
And we'll put one down in Liverpool, right there. Perfect. And one over in Manchester. All right, and then we can buy up a bus from in here. A little WMC bus, as we're very familiar with. Let's get one of those. Uh, now, when you buy it, I'm not quite sure what, like, you have to go... I don't know if there's another way to do it, but you have to like go into this menu here where you, all your vehicles are listed and sort of pull it out of there. I don't know if there's a, a quicker way of doing it when you buy a vehicle, but it's kind of how I'm doing it at the moment. And then we have to click on this little road button, put it on a piece of road somewhere. Um, is that down? Hang on, no. Okay, now it's down. <laughs> I think I already put it down when I took it up again. All right, so we've got our bus down. Let's close off this menu there. Uh, I didn't want to close the bus menu. That's kind of annoying. Right, so then we set up the route like we do on PC, and we do it with this little button here. So everything's kind of like an extra click on this, uh, like, iPad, or well, iOS interface, because it's like you want to confirm that you're going to the right place. So you just click on the station and click on your little route button, and then there you go. We've got our, our route set up between those three, and we can click go, and our bus will start heading off, and we can check out our information, check our speed, and all the details as we would on the PC. There is no little vehicle preview though, unfortunately, but I guess that's kind of a limitation of iOS itself. We've got our bus stopping there now. Uh, let's close off that menu and have a have a look around what's going on. So we've got our two, well, three stations rather. So we can see we've got 11 passengers there, 34 passengers over there, wow. And we've got 12 there. Where's our bus? I don't know. Oh, there he goes. So he must be pretty full actually with passengers. Cargo, none. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't pick anyone up. Let's speed up time a little bit, make sure this works anyways. There's 40 people waiting there. There you go, now he's picked up people. 12 people, 12 passengers. Right, we could probably build another bus if we wanted to, because it seems to be pretty uh, productive there. So we'll go ahead and buy another bus. Uh, plus that. And... Uh, see, I don't... I think I have to select the road and then buy the bus, is what I'm supposed to do. I'll try that next time. But for this time, let's just go like that, put the bus down, there you go. Uh, close that menu off. It's a bit fiddly, but, you know, it's iOS. It's still addictive as hell, just like the PC version, so it's all good. Uh, so we're going to go there first, and then, which I think we went to Manchester next, but we're going to do it the other way around this time. Go that way, just go backwards. All right, so we'll set that bus off there. And now we've got two buses running. And you can see how many people are on the bus as it moves across the map. And we'll see, I guess, the other bus pick up some passengers in a minute. We'll fast forward real quick. Be able to see it pick up people or not. I guess not. <laughs> see if it picks up anyone now. There you go. Now it's got people on there. Uh, anyways, let's go back to regular speed. Let's have a look. Uh, I believe I can access the map from somewhere. Is it in here? I don't know. Uh, okay, that was definitely not it. <laughs> let's just help. Uh, settings, mm, one-way direction arrows, I do want those actually, turn those on, uh, the rest is fine, um, I have to resume, how do I find the map, not there, how am I in this dude's face, uh, HQ, oh, we haven't built an HQ, that's what we should do, yes, uh, sorry, this is kind of like a half discovery, half I know what I'm doing kind of video, um, uh, that was a weird audio glitch. Yeah, the, the way I'm recording this, by the way, is I'm doing it through AirPlay. I'm AirPlaying it to my PC and then recording it. So I guess we might get a little bit of glitches here and there. Uh, good. Oh, maybe we'll build it out here, actually. Yeah, there. Yes, that's good. Right there. Beautiful. Uh, right. James Transport. That's not a very good name, is it? Let's go for... Uh, this keyboard's kind of annoying. Fast lines uh express all one word by the way because we're that cool we're f-l-e flee has two meanings right enter that there you go fast line express uh so i was looking for the map i don't even know if this has a map to be honest i assume it does because it has pretty much everything else um it's gonna find it if it exists so it's all those graphs and everything Maybe up there? No. What about if I click on that? There you go, you just click on the little world icon there. Oh! This is, is this where we can find like, hang on, if we click on this. No, that doesn't help. I was hoping we could find, um, anyways. Alright, so we can see a little map of the world, which of course is Great Britain. Um, and where are we? We're just down here. We can't zoom out very far, can we? No. Isn't that far. 
This seems like the biggest place though. Uh, I guess these are kind of big around here. I'm looking for maybe London. London sounds like it should be big, right? Oops, I've gone too far. And we can just use the map actually, a bit easier. London is, yeah, London's pretty big. Let's expand there, I think would be a good idea. Um, so let's get out of that. Let's build a few bus stops around here. Uh, no, I don't want vehicles, I want to build some bus stops. So, we want to go one there. Uh, one, I guess, like central London, right there. And maybe... Not many houses down this end. I kind of want to connect it to Brighton, actually, would be a good idea. Um, fun fact, all my relatives live in Brighton! The one, because only my immediate family lives in Australia, by the way, so... Fun little tidbit of information. Every, all my other relatives, well, most of them live in Brighton. Uh, or around about, so. So anyways, let's buy another bus. Let's also see if I if, if I do it like this this time. I click on the road and then buy the bus. No, it didn't go on the road. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's a better way to do that, but I haven't figured it out if there is, so. All right, so let's do our route. So we're going to go there, and we're going to go central, and then we're going to go south. Oops. And south. Uh, and is this an express bus or is it local? I don't know where to find that out here. I'm not quite sure. Uh, and I don't know where to find it out, so we'll just do another stop there forth. So it goes back again. Hang on, wait a second. It goes... And this isn't right. Can I move these? Uh, move it up. Wait. London so I didn't mean to do two London South. I don't even know how I did that. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> London Central is what I wanted to do, and go back to Central. Yeah, there we go. All right, go. All right, so that'll take care of that. Uh, and let's have a look at our progress in our challenge, which is here. Uh, we're looking at 16% uh, complete. We've delivered 162 passengers, which is pretty good. Pretty good start. Won't take much longer to get going. Uh, yes. So what I might do is actually build a road from Brighton over to London. Might be a good idea. Uh, can we edit terrain in this? I believe so. Yeah, here we go. Um, wow, this these, this menu on the right is confusing as hell. <laughs> uh, it's not entirely intuitive, but that's all right. There we go. Yeah, figured it out. It's all right. She goes all right. Uh, so we'll build the road. Uh, I don't know the best way to do it because we get a factory right in the way. Um, if we go up to there, maybe. Yeah, let's go from this road. And uh, go this way excuse me yep uh and then we're gonna smash through this mountain well it's not a mountain it's pretty much just a tiny hill um go down 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 uh and then we'll take i'll take that one down too uh, let's go back to this road and now we'll get out of that go into roads there plus 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 uh yeah plus and we're gonna go down plus flat uh, plus and forward, plus. All right, so that'll connect up those two, which is pretty good. And let's go ahead and build another bus stop uh, right in Brighton, right there. Beautiful. And let's build another bus. Well, I guess buy another bus, not build another bus. There we are. All right, then we go over to our bus menu. I, I'm sure this is a more efficient way of doing this, but I am unaware as of right now. Uh, let's go information on that bus. Let's go from Brighton. Uh, we're going to go, oh, hang on, information, sorry. Set up the route. Uh, Brighton, and then we're going to go London Central, just back and forth, just like a little shuttle between it. So we get that going, that'll get a bit of money going for us. We've got a performance index of 5.0. It's pretty good, pretty good starting. Uh, those are our, what's, our, uh, what's it called, budget? Or, well, I guess, yeah, balance sheet, as they call it. Uh, we got a loan as well, look at that. Okay, so that's where we find out loan stuff. 300 passengers delivered, so that means we're on our way. We need to do 700 more. Uh, and, yeah, it's going pretty good. You have nine years left. Oh, my God, we better hurry. Um, we got, we're only got 1,000 pounds, so, well, almost 2,000. We will speed up time for a bit. I think we'll go from there. And uh, we'll try and build a train maybe somewhere. I don't know how much it's going to cost. Let's slow it down again. Let's see if we can build a train from London to elsewhere. So let's go from there. No, no, no. We want to go... Hang on. Go there. Go that, oh, that way. Yes. So we're going to go straight down. this. It's only 11 pounds. Really? Wow. That's, that is cheap. It is cheap to build train lines in 1900. Let me tell you. Whoa. 
Um, okay, so we've kind of smashed into the hill there. Where, where am I going? Uh, maybe over to Coventry? That looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's try to go over there. So let's go back, because we need to go up, actually. Uh, let's go flat. Um, hmm. Hang on, let's go back again. Oh no, we still smashed into that. It's kind of annoying. Right, back. Uh, let's go that way. And then that way. Yes, there we go. And forward. Let's zoom in a bit as well so we can actually see what we're doing. And let's go there. And let's go down gently. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I should probably shouldn't have gone down. Because now we're going to go straight back up. Unless we go back a bit. We go this way. Just go diagonal. A little bit and we just kind of smash through the land here. Let's just adjust the land because it'll make it easier. Uh, cannot lower further. Really? Oh, I guess because actually because of the train track. So I assume it's got the same sort of uh, glitch as the... Uh, is that actually on the train track there? Nope. Can I... Can I not edit this train track? Uh, oh, there we go. To click that button. Alright, anyways. So let's do try that again. Let's bring that down. Can I increase the size of this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's what I want to see. All right, bring that down, down, down. Oh, ah, oh, get back up. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how much space I need to clear here. I think I need to clear that little bit there. Though. All right, let's go back over the tracks. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go through this way. Can I turn off the grid? The grid is actually really annoying and completely unnecessary. <laughs> um, oh, whatever. Oh, not enough money. Well, okay, so I actually have run out of money. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, trains are so cheap in 1900. And then we end up with no money at all. Fantastic. Okay, so let's take out a loan then. More money, more money. There we go, that'll do. All right, let's going to go there. Uh, let's go this way a little bit. Go back this way. Uh -huh, there you go. Such a curvy track, actually. Oh, I didn't actually mean to delete that, but I did, so that's something. Uh, that little house there is really in the way, or I don't, whatever it is, but let's go this way and then demolish it, because it's in my way. Sorry. All right, let's build the track straight in there. Perfect. Now, let's build our station, which I believe we do over here. Build station. There, yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Is that five? Six. Let's do six long. That'll be fine. Uh, let's go down to London. Might join it to the London one if we can. I don't want a new station. Ah, no, screw it. We'll do a new station there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's really laggy when I click that, actually. Like, really laggy. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's buy a train. So let's go ahead and get... I guess we can only get the Sterling 8 foot. Let's do that. And have I bought it? I think so. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's put it, uh, if I click the station, yeah, it goes into the station. It's facing the complete wrong way, but that's fine. All right, now let's buy on the additional pieces. So we need some passenger carriages. I'm going to go one, now let's go over this way, two, three, four, five. I think five will do. Um, I didn't mean to click on my face. I meant to click on the train. Uh, we don't actually need to set up a route because it can only go to one place really, but we'll do it anyways. And then we can watch our train go. Alrighty, go. Uh, can I like... Okay, if I click on the magnifying glass. I believe it just follows the train. Oh, well, now it's not because I've clicked off it. Or does it follow the train? Or Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. So we can follow the train. And we can watch that do its job. We got one, one piece of mail, I guess, with us. Because it says one mail and nine passengers. Away we go. Let's speed up the time a little bit. So watch it go on this beautiful curvy track. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is wonderful. <laughs> Here we are. Hey guys. Oh, look how many people we've got on the train there, actually. Not, wait, what? How many people? 42 people we have. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. That'll really uh, accelerate our progress. There you go. 42 people. There you go. Boom. 252 pounds. Damn. You fine, girl. Alrighty. Uh, we're, we're well underway. Let's have a look at our progress. Uh, where, where is it? 888. There you go. And we've just picked up a whole bunch of more passengers. How many did we get this time? 30. There's a lot of people from Coventry wanting to go down to London for the weekend. Probably want to hit up the clubs and that. 
Uh, cause 1900, you know, oh, it's 1901, sorry, party like it's hot, whoa, 1901, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 995, here we go, there you go, Fast Lines Express, congratulations, challenge met. Uh, so that is kind of the end of my little sort of preview video, or showcase, I guess, of, uh, Transport Tycoon on iOS, like I said, it's pretty much the same as, as Locomotion, probably with a few changes here and there, but I haven't really noticed them. I mean, one of the changes is fireworks, or I guess all star works all over the place. But yes, uh, I thought you, you guys might want to check this out. Uh, you might be interested in it or something like that. Uh, also, let me know if you want me to see more videos on iOS as well, of uh, Transport Tycoon, that is. Um, because it is a pretty cool game, but having said that, like like I said before, it's pretty similar to the PC version, so it'll probably just be easier to do PC videos uh, of locomotion. But yes, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time, and have a great day.